So I'm supposed to be on vacation, but I got n more news to report on this Friday. Gerald Henderson, released by the Philadelphia 76ers, set to make $9 million this season. They only had to spend $1 million to cut him. And, well, quite frankly, didn't really show much last year. Uh, averaged less than 10 points a game. Uh, shot at like 42% or something. And I thought he took a lot of bad contested shots. And uh, there were a lot of shots that he took late in games where he just didn't get good looks. And so, uh, yeah, th this, is, this is a move to potentially free up some more money to potentially extend uh, Robert Covington. That's what it seems like this is uh, leaning towards. And another, another more news to report is uh, Zach Lowe is reporting that the Sixers are seeking uh, one-year deals this summer to preserve future cap space. So one-year deals, it makes sense. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to keep cap space to extend Fultz, to extend Simmons and Embiid down the line. But at the same time, you got to think about it like, okay, well – if you want a high-profile veteran, a guy that, to bring in here, he's going to want more than one year, you know what I mean? So uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do because a guy like J.J. Redick, this is probably going to be his last big contract of his career. He's going to want more money and more years and more stability. So, uh, yeah, they're not going to get a high-profile guy for a year. So if they want J.J. Redick, they're going to have to sign him for at least, like, you know, two to three years, something like that. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, as for other free agents, you know, we shall see. Patty Mills is the one guy that uh, does uh, come to mind when I think of a good free agent. Fear not, the Turkish terror is here. <laughs> yeah. Well, he is 19, so let's, 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 let's take everything with a grain of salt with Furkan. He's not just going to come in here and kill it right away. You know, let's, let's remember that. But, you know, obviously... Uh, he's got some upside. 19 years old, can shoot the shit out of the ball. So exciting that he's coming over. Look at that sexy man on my screen. How was your day? Hey, my, my day's been tremendous. I'm here in Wildwood, but unfortunately I had to work today. So much news going on, you know? But uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be down here in Wildwood for a week. So this is my uncle's place here. And I'll show you my other uncle's place which is down the street. He's right on the water. Uh, I'll do a video from his place uh, a couple days from now. He's not down here yet, but dude, his place is a freaking castle. It's unbelievable. And uh, you'll, have to, you'll have to see the views to believe it. But yeah, go, going back to the one-year deal thing, I mean, you know, the thing to look at too is, although we know that this team needs shooters, we also still haven't seen anybody play together yet. You know what I mean? So. We haven't seen Simmons and Fultz and, and, and Bede on the floor at the same time. So, you know, it, it does make sense to want to wait until next summer to really go after more high-profile names uh, because, you have, quite frankly, you just haven't seen the team yet, and we don't really know what they need. So look at that as well. So, uh, yeah, just, just some more nuggets, some more news and notes on some notes and news. I don't even know if that made sense, but... I'm going to go back to vacation. I am doing a show tonight with Caleb. Uh, do you think TJ makes the team? That's interesting because they, they signed Mellow Tremble. Uh, you got Simmons now. You got Fultz now. That'll be something to watch out for. Yeah, he might be out of here. He might. I know, I know he's, uh, he's a fan favorite. So, yeah, that's something to keep an eye out for uh, is TJ McConnell. Mellow Tremble, Summer League MVP. We shall see. We shall see. Wasn't Tyus Jones the one last year? Was it Tyus Jones? There was a lot of hype around Tyus Jones after his Summer League performance. So, all right. Tune in tonight. If, if you're a Flyers fan, Caleb and I will have some uh, nuggets on Brian Elliott. We'll talk a little bit about Ron Hextall's free agency plan. And, yeah, a whole lot of bullshit. So, yeah, I am going to enjoy my vacation. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hoping to get some fishing in tomorrow. And it's very windy today. It's very windy. And women are wearing skirts. It's tremendous. I'm out.